Good evening. Eagles star Willy Rioli is at the centre of another doping scandal tonight with fresh revelations. He tested positive to cannabis on match day. The AFL confirmed the explosive news just two weeks after the 24-year-old's shock suspension. The bombshell allegations could end the career of one of the Eagles' brightest stars. But if this Instagram post is anything to go by, Willy Rioli is taking this latest scandal in his stride. The AFL today confirmed a second drug shock for Rioli, the star forward testing positive for cannabis, the day of West Coast's finals clash with Essendon. Rioli. His teammates flying home from the Brownlow and into a fresh controversy. Are you disappointed as a teammate? Um, well, we just need to wait and see what happened with that. But, you know, from all his point of view, you need to make sure he's going, going all right. Our main priority is his welfare. Rioli's troubles began when drug testers arrived at training, two days after the Eagles' Round 22 clash with Richmond. They alleged it's there where he tampered with his sample, replacing it with a sports drink. Rioli was target tested two weeks later, after the Eagles' showdown with Essendon, this time allegedly testing positive to cannabis. It would be very rare to see an elite football player using this drug simply because it stays in your system for so long. Rioli is already facing a ban of up to four years for tampering with a urine sample. Because his cannabis test occurred on match day, it's considered performance enhancing, meaning it also attracts a hefty penalty. Insiders say the 24-year-old will likely face only one ban, the tampering allegation considered more serious. In a statement, the club vowed to stand by the embattled Eagle, saying the club's primary concern remains the health and well-being of Willie. We will continue to support him through this particularly challenging time to assist him while this ongoing investigation runs its course. Rioli's playing future now looking more in doubt than ever. Tegan Sapwell, Nine News. Docker's superstar Nat Fife has cemented his place among the greats, becoming the first West Australian to win the AFL's highest individual honour twice. The Frio skipper says he's now eyeing another medal and it's not the Brownlow. Without any sleep, Nat Fife is adjusting to life as a dual Brownlow medalist. I think in time it'll sort of sink in and become a little bit more realistic, but at the moment it seems a little bit surreal. His morning after pose is becoming a trademark image as brand Fife continues to grow. The winner of the 2019 Brownlow medal, Nathan Fife of the Fremantle Football Club. Just the 15th player ever to win more than one. It's amazing to be able to wake up and consider myself alongside the names of Goods, Ablett, Judd, guys that I idolised growing up. Fife averaged 29 disposals and polled 33 votes, five clear of the favourite, Patrick Dangerfield. Is it true that you said to a mate of yours, don't worry about life, if things ever go bad, I can sell one of my brown nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be able to go travelling together? <laughs> oh, how do I answer that? I don't know, I've always been relatively confident in the, the plan of the universe and, <laughs> and uh, here we are. But things weren't going to plan when a skinny Nathan Fife reached year 12. Jamie Lockyer was coaching the Aquinas first 18s when Fife was dropped to the thirds. I wrote him a letter actually and uh, there was a footy camp going to Melbourne at the start of year 12 and I just pleaded basically for the opportunity to get on that footy tour. He could see that he wasn't fulfilling the, the, the potential that he had. You know, he's, he's a smart, smart guy and he, he knew he needed to turn things around. Fife labelled it a turning point, but the Dockers' captain saved the most praise for another former coach, Ross Lyon. It played an important role in getting me to where I am today. Um, so I rang him, he said he doesn't often cry, but he shed a couple of tears and was quite emotional. Fife still rates Matthew Pavlich as the greatest ever docker and he's chasing a medallion of a different kind. I've never captained um, our team in a final and I've got no premiership medallion, so that is wholeheartedly where my focus lies. Michael Genovese, Nine News.